response systems compared to calling on people, it looks like I'm getting a lot more input. And the good thing about this is that um, I think it's a little easier to maybe type in, firstly because it's anonymous in the way I have it, so students might not be so afraid to text in. Another thing is that it, it kind of overcomes the fear of making things you can. So we have creaking and creaking, very interesting spelling. Howling winds, rustling leaves, spooky thunder, wind, great. So we hear creaking and thunder. Mysterious creaking. The, the loosely nailed floorboards creak mysteriously at minute intervals with accompanied by windows and a knocked down door. It looks as though a hurricane recently came by, although, of course, all the trees are still standing. Inside, it is damp and moldy with the smell of decaying mice cadavers everywhere. Dust lingers on a tabletop, along with a broadly navy and block of cheese, covered in puffs of green mold. The floorboards creak mysteriously at minute intervals, accompanied by whistling winds and rumbling thunder. Sometimes you can hear a wolf howl in the distance. So maybe if we had a unit about creepy writing, firstly I'll be reactivity, but more realistically if we were talking about descriptive writing the five senses, that might be a good way to get it across and this would be a good one to do near Halloween. Uh, otherwise I would do more of a dream tree house with the bungee jumping board and everything like that. But, so back to flip chart. 